in the back seat. My heaven is my boy. This is my sonnet. I'm not fella sipping cellar. We call that an interstellar. I'm a rapping Cinderella. Serve it like it's mozzarella. Someone said I'm a vegan now. Get a trendsetter on your feet like David Guetta. Better and better. I serve it letter for letter. The alpha better. Santa, I make the cheese. I make cheddar. I got the brrrr. Better vendetta. I'm spitting pepper when I brrrr. Impeccable rhythm. The rock macker on the beat. When I put it down on the beat. I'ma make it sound so sweet. When you hit the sound of the gun. That's a cue to run. When I put it down on the beat. When you hear the sound of the gun, that's the cue to run. When I put it down on the scoop, I'ma make it sound so pew pew. When you hear the sound of the gun, that's the cue to run. When I put it down on the beat, I'ma make it sound so that. When you hear the sound of the gun, that's the cue to run. When I put it down on the when I put it when I put it down on the down on the beat, I'ma make it sound so scoop. I'ma make it sound so sound so sweet. When you hear the sound of the sound of the Yo, that's a Q2, Q2, that's a, that's a Q2, 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 run. Oh, we forgot the black. Right. Yes. <sighs> mm. What the fuck is going on now? Oh, for God's sakes. It's going wrong already. Wait, drag it. Drag it. Drag it. Why is it not dragging? There we go. Yes, indeed. I'm here with my uh, Jeffrey Dahmer glasses, repping the tunes. Um, yeah, I'm going to get Vic and Joe in on a second. We are, we're bang on schedule, actually. Everything's going, going well. Um, thanks for joining me, 1,708 people. I hope you're all doing all right on this Thursday afternoon, morning, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for joining me. Um, Last week, yeah, I played um I played Tom Jones on the stream, and um somebody called me a misogynist for playing Tom Jones on the stream. I feel like I feel like we're taking this cancel culture thing a little bit too far now. If you can't even play Tom Jones without being called a misogynist, I I think women are great actually, and I also like Tom Jones. I think both of those things can exist in the same sphere of existence. I think we're taking cancel culture a little bit far. Anyway, I just had to say that because it pissed me off. Um, <laughs> where, where are we going? We're going to do a multi-stream. Right. Everything could go wrong. Or everything could go right. Right. Is Joe in, in the, his house? Right, here we go. Hang on. <laughs> Let's <laughs> fucking know. Ooh, collab cam. Okay, okay, hang on. Oh, yes, I've got, wait, hang on. Let me see. Okay. Um, yes? yes? Can you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> I think so, yeah, I think we've done it. Wait, can everybody, can everybody hear both of us all right without a lag and everything, yeah? Let's have a look. Can you guys, can you guys see the chat on your end as well, yeah? They can't hear you. Oh shit! Are you sure? You can't hear. Um, hang on. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me. Oh, I knew, right off the get go. Right, I knew it was gonna happen. Right, hang on. Settings. Your volume's up all the way. Um, they're they're really quiet. Wait, let me see if I can boost it here. You're up. Speak. All right. Well, it, it said. Oh, fuck, mate. It says that it's coming out all right on here. Oh, still not here. Fuck. Bollocks. Big bollocky fuck bread. Right, hang on. Settings. Webcam source. How's that? What about when they get well close? It's still very faint. Hang on, this is weird because it says, yeah, on my end that you're coming out like super loud. Hang on, speak, speak again. Yeah, it says that you're, hang on, this is strange, wait. Maybe in your headphones. What's that? Is it maybe in your headphones? I, ca I can hear you fine, it's just that nobody else can't hear you. Wait, let me, um, OBS issue, let me, let me just double check something. 
Oh, of course it was going to happen. Right, hang on. Streamlabs, loop back. Keep talking. Got louder for a sec. Unplug my headphones. Okay, hang on. I'm going to unplug my headphones then. How's that? I know my volume is fine, but what? How's their? How's their volume? Hello. Oh, it's better. Yeah. Yes. Oh yes. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, fuck the headphones then. Yeah. Let's do it. We we talk really close to the to the mic. But is it still quiet for them? Are we about the same? Are we about the same or not? Everybody, please tell me. <laughs> We're talking to the mic a bit closer. It's it's better but not perfect. Ah oh, fuck! Hang on, I'm gonna record. Say something for a second, boys. Say something for a second. My check, my check. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Hang on. Have you got like an input source as well, Joe? If you can crank that up as loud as it can go, that will help. Yeah. We'll find that. Documents. Wait, I'm just I'm just double checking something on my end. See, this is weird because it sounds totally fine where I'm from, um, where I'm sitting. Test your microphone. Say something for a second, boys. Say something for a second. Oh yeah, you are quiet as fuck. It's weird because on, on my on my one you're fine. Um, turn your mic up all the way. Should I just put the old lead back on it? The one. Oh God! I knew I knew I cursed myself by just predicting it. You know the law of attraction stuff. Yeah, I attracted this to myself. Audio source, collab cam, hang on, settings, webcam source, webcam, video source, microphone source. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, no. Uh, Try that now. Try speaking. Try speaking. Speak, please. Oh, I can't fucking hear anything. Can you guys, can you guys hear them now? Nothing, no? Oh, fuck. Ah! All right, shit. Microphone source. Yeah. One, two, one, two, one, two. Webcam source. Mm. Guys, we can't hear you at all now. Anyway, so this is the train wreck of a stream that I uh, predicted. Joe, I can't hear you at all now, mate. You've taken the microphone out, lad. Nah, I can't hear, can't hear fucking anything, mate. Anyway, so, um, yeah, this is Vic and Joe. Do you want to communicate through hand signals? Yeah, that's very, very handsome young men who, uh, who have joined me in today's mute stream for mutes. Turn the volume up on the PC. The source... Well, no, nah, the, the source isn't the PC, but it, it's, it is coming through, yeah, but... Um, hang on. Fuck's sake. Uh, settings. Cube 2, yeah, that's right, I think, yeah, that's right. Webcam source, webcam, audio source. Yeah, that's right as well. Everything's technically right, but I think your microphone isn't plugged in. You're hearing them through my speakers. No, you shouldn't be. You should be hearing them through their speakers. I've got an input source here, an output source even, sorry. Joe, nothing, nothing's coming through, my man. Let me, um, I'm going to add the new... Oh. Try now. Yeah, there we are. I can hear you now. Can they hear us? Can you hear them now? Wait, let me add an audio source as well. Uh, is it loud? Is it loud? Everyone's saying... Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Two seconds, two seconds. Because there's an audio output catcher I want to capture as well. Uh... Add a source. Wait, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. I might be able to sort this out now. Let me just. Let me just. Let me just. Let me just. Um, yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna. So I'm gonna figure this fucking shit out, mate. Don't you worry. I'm um, new virtual device. On. Wait. I'm just. I'm just trying to figure this out through loop back because we've got some uh, options. Um, Streamlabs. Okay, cool. And then if I add an audio source here, sorry guys, I'm just 
trying to figure the fuck this fucking thing out. All right, input source. <laughs> do, 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 do. Let's talk about something. What should we talk about? Other new we source. Shot a music video yesterday. Um, I'm quite excited. That's going to be coming out hopefully next week, everyone. So keep your eyes out for that. Um, um. Much better. Yeah, so if we just hold it like, I think it's because it's a directional mic, so we have to like talk into it. Yeah, well, I've, I've, just made a new, I've made a new thing here. Yeah. That should be called Streamlabs on loop, yeah, loop back it's audio. It's, yeah, it's, it's good enough. No, 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 it's going to be even better, trust me. It's going to be even better. <laughs> it's going to be even better. Hang on. Um, uh, right, talk. Yo, yo. Talk. Yeah, mic check, oh, mic fuck, check. Oh, fuck, no, I can't hear anything. Fuck, can you hear them? It's working, yeah? Can you hear them a lot better? But now he can't hear us. So now I can can't fucking hear them, man. Huh? Right, yeah, everyone, let's <laughs> say the worst things you about it now. Everyone, fire. we've got a perfect time. Fuck! Welcome to, welcome to the Vicky Joe stream. <laughs> yeah, no no, oh, no shit, more Ren in here man. anymore. Outpot channel. Yeah. Yeah. Just kick him out. This is fucking hilarious. Hang on. I want this to be... We could say monitors, we yes, monitors, oh, iMac wait. speakers. All right, talk. Hello. Yes. Woo. Yes. Nice. All right. Perfect. Woo. Man, I'm sweating after all that. I'm, pro <laughs> I'm, I'm properly watching, sweating. Mate. Come on. Is there, any, is there any lag coming from your guys and um, people of the internet? Nice. Oh, them. Yes. Is, is there like a, is there an echo or there's no echo? Yeah? Perfect. Perfect. No echo, no? Just like stick it here. And then oh, God. Oh, Fucking hell, that made me sweat. I had to think of my toes there, but I figured out I had to go through loopback, create an audio source running from Streamlabs, direct that back into Streamlabs, enable that from Streamlabs, make a new input source, and then direct that to an output source coming out of my computer. That just sounded like that video that you made, Joe. <laughs> you know what that's what I was gonna say. You need like a set of stipulations for when you do it. Yeah, I need some so stipulations. Like... <laughs> How, the the funny thing is, yeah, there's more people watching the stream now than when before I started. That I would have thought I would have lost like half the stream, and we've got like people just like to watch people suffer. I guess. Some you people change it to a how-to video on some... how to like set up a stream. <laughs> some people just want to watch the world burn. How are you doing, boys? It's been a while. Yes, bro, yeah. not too bad. Good. Yeah. Working hard, getting a lot of stuff done. What's going yeah. from back home, man? What's going on back in Brighton town? It's all popping off, mate. Yeah, everywhere. Thunderstorms, rain. Is... Oh, yeah, the end of days are nigh. Ghosts. Oh, yeah, ghosts. God damn. We bumped into some other stuff the other day, which we can't talk too much about yet. Okay. We'll be up on a, a new YouTube video soon. I'm hyped, so, man. By, by the way, if, I'm going to put this in there. If anyone, um, hang on, how do you actually spell it, Joe? You spell it flackers with a Z and then photos with an F, yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All because right, I'm putting, I'm putting cool. that in the chat now. Hang on, flackers photos. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't even type into my own chat. It's saying join Twitch. <laughs> this is my fucking stream. <laughs> I can't even put anything in the chat. If anyone wants to tag Joe's YouTube and put it in the chat, that would be great because I can't do it. Oh, technology eludes me. I feel like I feel like I am. Um, this is my face gives the impression that I'm like in my early twenties, but my actions show that in fact I am indeed a thirty-year-old man who is out of touch with the with the kids of today. <laughs> what is technology, mate? Is. What is it? Yeah. I don't know. What is it good I for? How yes, that's anyway? right, chat. I'm old. Thanks for reminding me that I am old in capital letters. Old. Old. Right, let's... Anyway, f let's fucking big up Vic as well on that track. Show Vic some love. Thank and, you, um, guys. Thanks to everyone who tuned in for that. I'm appreciating the support. I've got... Yeah, man. Got show the boy some love. So thank you all very much. Yes, sir. Yeah. Show the boy How some doing, love. Bro? Show the boy some love. How's, how's yeah. it all over there? I'm doing all right, man. Yeah, I was I was in them. Um, I took a little break. You probably saw I, I went to LA for a bit. That was really cool. Yeah, man. Caught up with Connor and Brigitte over there as well. Um, that was fun. And just like we went to see Smashing Pumpkins, went to see The Offspring. That was dope. 
Um, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah it was it was it was, a, it was a well needed break, man. So that was good. And now I'm back in Canada, back in treatment. But things are going all right, man. I'm just trying to finish off. I've got like two tracks for this album. I I, I was I was like, you know, like Dr. Dre 2001 has that intro where it's like, or like loads of the old Eminem records used to have like an intro on. So I was like. Mm. I want to make an int- intro track for this album because I think it'd be cool having right. an, an epic intro. And then it turned from an intro into a four long minute, a four minute long track by mistake. So now <laughs> like, I've just got a whole nother track to work on because I was just like, I was, I was making it and I was like, oh no, I need to add more. And then it just got carried away, man. So I've got a whole new track to finish. So that, that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just working on finishing that and then I'm working on finish off the vocals for Money Game Part 3. But um. Yeah, man, that's me. Just working and working and going to the clinic and getting shit stuck in my veins from the IVs and stuff. Mm. We mm. should go out to Canada and visit you. Yeah, we were talking about that. I want to yeah, come man. out again. That was sick, bro. Yeah, man. Well, any before. any time you want, you're welcome to. Yeah, bro. Yeah. We, we can make a video out in Canada and we can hunt like... Hunt a wild wren. <laughs> Yeah. find him somewhere. Um, I've, uh, I've, heard, I've heard a lot about this guy. I'm a, I'm I'm a slippery little bugger, man. You won't be able to catch me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you everyone about uh commenting in the chat as well i appreciate that a lot yeah 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 thank you for everyone in the chat do you do you guys want to talk to me a little bit about this this beef that's going on between you and wolf then i want to know more yeah oh wolf yeah. so like hey, baby so like we we were like sitting around and we we're, we were looking at wolf stuff right and i was like i was thinking about that day you know when you came back from canada and yeah. you brought Wolf with you and you came to like the house and we were all sitting around and Wolf came in and he yeah. was like giving it the, the all that about the mushy peas and I was I remember, like yeah, I remember. I thinking, bro I wouldn't mind some mushy peas yeah. and then him and Connor went and got mushy peas and then I didn't get to go well, and instead it... we went to Molly Malone's well, so the, uh, the origin story is he didn't invite you for mushy peas yeah 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 to be fair to be fair, that is a violation. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I was like, how can I get back at him? So I, I spent all my time, I quit my job. I bought uh, <laughs> a thousand, <laughs> you, a thousand what, pound what, camera. You, you quit your job because of the peas? Yeah, yeah, I quit my job for a few thousand pound camera. Yeah. Uh, that was all my money. Uh, <laughs> sold my house, moved back in with my parents. Yeah. Uh, my mum's now dating Vic. And yeah. <laughs> Life's going well. Life's going well for me. <laughs> nice. I love you. And yeah, then I, I I created a concept and filmed and executed the challenge on Wolf to teach him for. Yeah, no man, games. I've I've been keeping up with it, man. It looks I didn't I didn't realise the uh, photography world could be quite so brutal and vicious actually. <laughs> it's a rough world out there, man. Yeah, I know, man. It's a ki- but, it's, it, yeah, it's a kill or be killed world out there. Definitely. Yeah. Like there's so many times I've had rival photographers just pull up on me and just start like, bap, 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 bap. Start shooting. Yeah, man. shooting with their cameras. Always. Damn. What, drive by? Yeah, 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 man. Just complete. Shut, shut like, a speed on like, fucking on, maximum. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand like, photos a second. Damn, <laughs> man. Damn. I, I, diving. I didn't realize. Well, yeah, I mean, I've been, I've been keeping up with it, man. I've been trying to stay neutral, but it's, it's looking like, you know. Because both of you are my homies, man, and it'll be a shame to lose one of you, but I guess it is what it is. It, what what will be, will be. Well, I'm, I'm sure Wolf will, will take me somewhere. What? I'm not sure where, but... What, so where's he taking you might, you, might, you might lose me. <laughs> what? No. We're going to ride off into the sunset, so... <laughs> they got, they got this... I think Vic's got Mutiny! Wolf. <laughs> yeah, you be quiet, you get hurt again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh damn! I've, wait, hang on. I think Wolf's here. Is Wolf here? Yeah, Someone, yeah, someone's saying Wolf's in the chat. He's lurking. You made a <laughs> I made a lie. I, I didn't so make a lie. I thought I thought of something. I thought of an idea actually before this this stream. I thought for the people's sake, you know, like in UFC or boxing, yeah, when you have a face off, like a face to face, yeah. Does anyone want in the chat want to see Wolf and Joe go like mano a mano, face to face? Yes. Because oh, I can, pro- I, I can probably know. try, I can probably try and make this happen. I just need to get um. Is Wolf there in the stream? Um, if Connor's there, Connor, can you send the link to Wolf? And we'll fucking. Uh, he's in there. He's, he's been typing. He's what? He's in there, yeah. Because look, I, I even made, I even, I, I thought about this, and I even made um, 
I'm going to show you guys something special that I made in a second. I just got to get. Well, I've got to make sure that we can actually get Wolf. Like, I mean, I haven't streamed with more than one person yet, so we're going to have to see if this works. Wolf, will you step up to the plate, my friend, and face off Mr. Flack live on camera? He ain't gonna shut. Yeah. Yeah. Casual yet prepared, yeah. mate. That's me, mate. Chaotic and yet organized at the same time. Right. Okay. Wolf is the link. Okay. Goddamn. Oh, wait. What? I'm just waiting. Okay. Hang on, I'm going to generate a link and I'm going to shoot it to, jo to Connor quickly. Because I think, uh, I'm not quite sure if this is working properly. Wait, let me have a look. WhatsApp. Because I've got, I've got something ready. Guys, you, you guys are going to want to see what I've prepared. <laughs> I'm interested. <laughs> right, I want to... No, that's not the fucking link. Oops, I just... I literally just sent Connor a link to Down on the Beat. <laughs> Check out this new <laughs> tune, lad. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I thought you sent him a link that you accidentally sent me to that time. Nah, nah, nah. Here we are. Hang on. Oh, he said he should be in. I can't fucking see him, mate. I saw him typing earlier. He's probably got bored and then fucked off. I can't see him, bro. What is this? I'm leaving. He's probably just, he's too scared. Are you sure he's in? Hang on, I'm talking to Connor right now. He's got the new, oh. Come on. I want to show them my thing. I work so hard on it. Oh, Fuck. Please, Wolf, come. Come. Mm, still not working, Connor. Come on. <laughs> I've, got, I've got you guys. Yeah, Winter. Oh, I, I want it to... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I want it to work according to plan. <laughs> oh, we got, we got Wolf. All right, all right. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Yeah? Okay, here we go. Guys, are you, are you ready for this face off? All right, let's go. Wait, 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 is the media source playing? Wait, wait, huh? let me, let me add Wolf, let me add Wolf on. Yeah, yeah. Collab cam, hang on, here we go. Right, are you boys ready for the face off? Oh, well, hang on, we've got, <laughs> we need to turn Wolf's audio. <laughs> Wait, huh? Wolf's audio is not working. Well, Wolf, speak, speak, speak. Yeah, yeah. Can we hear Wolf, everybody? Oh, wait, no shit. I've got to do exactly what I did before. Wait, guys. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Pretend that nothing happened and then we'll start from the start in any second. Blah, 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 Source, like audio source, loop back three, uh, stream abs, uh, yes, uh, fuck, that's just gone away, shit, okay, hang on, and, Wait, okay, go again, I, you know, oh, no, can you hear me, can we hear Wolf, okay, it's a sabotage, yeah, you don't get a voice, all right, okay, okay, hang on, wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this again, just, every Forget that you just saw what you just saw. Oh no, Wolf is still here. Everyone's going on. Right, right. Delete the past five minutes from your life. Erased. You're not a man in black pen. And right, let's let's go. <laughs> All right, go. <laughs> you mean now? Yeah, yeah now. <laughs> I just I just need to tell everybody as I'm sitting here in my mansion out by the lake in Canada on the mountain. Listening to this little handsome fella spill lies from his pie liquor. I'm not Yo. having it. Yo, Wolf ain't afraid of you. Whoop. There, are, there is no lies that are coming out of my mouth. Yeah. You. There will be a wolf coming in. You're a liar. All right. No. You, your mouth has lies inside. What? <laughs> Yeah, I see one. I see a lie right there, bro. Look. There's no lies in I swear it, to you there it, hasn't been a lie in there. Get it under your tongue, bro. Uh, look. <laughs> what, Joe, why did you bring Connor into this? I need to know. Okay. You, you don't right. need to know nothing. You know the truth, bro. That day. You know, 
ever since I first met you, walk into your house, I'm, I'm like a guest there. Everyone's nice to me except you. You're beating the lies, locking on wolf. And I said, excuse me, Joe, could I please have a drink? And you know what you said? Get out of here, kid. Yeah. Well, Count it know, big enough for the two of us. You remember it differently how it was. I came up to you and I said, hello, the wolf. Uh, my name is Joe. And I want to shake your hand. And you just, you pulled down your shades, shoved me to the side and said, I'm not taking you for mushy peas. I'm going to take Connor instead. I said, I haven't asked you for mushy peas yet. Wolf, but that would be nice if you give me some. And he said, nah, bro. And then you growled at me and walked around on all fours and then humped a cushion. You know, first of all, okay, I didn't see any cushions there. Okay, so eliminate from that from the equation. Second of all, Vic, I love you. All right, cheekbones. I don't know. I get out the picture. He stopped picking you up. No, no. Okay, so listen, you did not say Mr. The Wolf. You just said wolf. Okay, and I take that as disrespect because the is part of my name. That's like me calling you O. O Ackers. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Joke's the on, J Maybe it's Yo. The joke's on you, bro, because my name is O. I just made up the J and the E. So you actually would have called me by my real name. What does it stand for, though, the J and the E? Just... Just... Uh, just... Excellent. Just... Just O, oh, excellent. That's my name. You know what? You need to take the, the, the bandana on your head, and you need to go back to Canada. What bandana? This is my hair. Yeah. Well, Wait, I have an illness, nice. and I have to wear this. This is my wig. You know, and I'm in Canada. I don't understand what you're talking about. No, you're in Twitch, mate. I can see you. You're in my room. What are we doing here? Well, I'm, taking, I'm telling everyone how I'm going to beat you. You better watch your back, bro. They're like shooting beat me off what? right now for you. Beat me like, off what? I'm going to beat you off all night, bro. <laughs> you want me to come down there? I'll, I'll like smash your ass. I want, you, I want you to come up here, okay? You keep it away yeah. from down there because it's hard to get that out. Okay, bro, and I need I'm, you to explain I'll, the rules to me. I'll smash your ass all night, bro. You, would you clear? You don't even know how hard these fists come. I'll fist you so hard, bro. Huh? Yeah, that's it, Wolf. God damn. All right. Fucking hell. Things got a little bit too heated. Anyway, the photography world is is a uh, it's a hard, it's a kill or be killed place, as we could see. It's full of fistings and beatings and men beating each other off left, right, and center. Um. Guys, hang on, wait, let me, let me get back to this. I'm glad that we're ironing out the technical, detail, technical details with really like elaborate concepts. And then we have more collab. Here we are. How are you, boys? I'm, 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 playing, I'm playing referee right now. Yeah, you got it, dude, because I don't know. I don't know what this guy's Where do you do. find this guy, Ren? <laughs> well, this Joe guy. You know, yeah, I mean, you got Vic there. Great choice. Cheekbones, the rapper. <laughs> solid, no, 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 solid no. cheekbones. Nice, nice I, cheekbones. I used, to, I like cheekbones, I used to record the BTS before you came. B yeah, but you probably think that's a sandwich. <laughs> probably showed up to the set with a sandwich. I'm here for a sandwich. Bacon tomato sandwich. Okay? I'm here, I'm here for a professional execution. I'm here to create legends. I'm trying to turn Ren into an icon, okay? What are you doing? You, look, you show up looking for the catering. Oh, I heard this catering here. You got any mushy peas? Okay, that's why Connor took me to mushy peas, okay? Because I didn't eat all week. You know what I ate? A job, because I killed this ish, dog. That's what I eat. <laughs> I actually think I actually think Wolf's got you on a trash talk, Joe. <laughs> don't back down, mate. I I don't back down, bro. See, I'm not just there for the catering. There's drinks too. So like, when I come, I come for everything. Yeah, drinks, catering, mushy peas. Yeah, I'm not sure what 
the technical stuff you're talking about is. What do you even uh, drink at that height? Juice. Bro, we don't eat poutine. How did you get into that place? P poutine looks Mate, pretty I'm fire, cool. I'm not going to lie. If, if I wasn't allergic to everything in the world, I'd probably try some. It looks pretty good. And it's poutine. Oh, okay. sorry. Poutine. Yo. <laughs> poutine. French. Yeah. It's French for Joe. You can't do shit to me, okay? Because Wolf's in Canada. All right. Boys. I'm gonna have to love you and leave you because it's one. I, I told the other reactor boys we're gonna get on, we're gonna get on multi streaming. Uh, keep it. I, I don't want to lose either of you, but I understand if I have to. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing the update, boys. Uh, boy, everyone, also go and subscribe to Wolf. Go and subscribe to Vic. Go and subscribe to Joe. Show them some love. They're all they're all doing their thing. Uh, let's um, give Vic another bit of love from the tune today uh, in the chat. Let's let's. I want I want to see a lot of love and. Um, yeah, man, it's been real. From, I'm gonna recover from all of that. It's, it's send me off, mate. Fuck. All right, See boys. You bit, bro. I love you. I love you. I love you. Love you more. Right. I think it's going. I think it's going all right. I think. I mean, apart from that fucking hiccup. Um, how are you guys all doing? Right, Connor. If you're here watching, can you get? everyone who's joining um a invite link that'll be cool and then and then send them and say that we're ready to go that'll be cool right okay this is the next phase now we've got to get five people in at once um hopefully it's gonna go all right <laughs> uh, how you guys doing are you guys have you guys got any questions while we're waiting It's like jumping into a swimming pool and trying to learn how to swim. Yeah, digital orders. So um, we got pre-sale. We got digital on pre-sale. Like that, that's like going up. That's going live super super soon. And basically, um, I I saw something in I think it was like a Facebook group of people being like, oh, I can't afford an album. I don't want to. Is there any way we can like chip together, get people CDs who can't afford it? So I figured, I saw that, and look, I, I know right now, particularly in the UK, like the economy has gone to shit and um, I want my music to be accessible to everyone. So I set it to the lowest possible price it can be in the store. So the album will be available for digital pre-order from today for 4 99 rather than like 8 99 10 whatever albums you're normally are. I've set at the lowest pro like the lowest price to still qualify for an album. That's 4 99 so if you guys want to go and get an album, um, you can order it at some point today, as cheap as it come. Because why the fuck not? I want everyone to be able to listen to my music. And obviously, like if you don't want to buy it, you can stream it. And if you don't want to stream it, you can download it off Pirate Bay or some fucking LimeWire if that still exists and you can pirate it. Whatever, man. I'm not bothered. Just listen to my music. <laughs> right. Uh, Connor, when you can, mate, if you're watching this, send me a message and be like, yeah, we're good to go with these reactors and I'll... Uh, people have links. All right. Let's see. All right. Joe and Joe and Wolf, if you're watching, can you leave your link and I'm going to... Hopefully do this right. Okay, here we go. Okay, actually, no, I know what I need to do. The audio input. Otherwise, we're going to have a problem again. Hang on. Right, audio input. Let's see that. Let's see that. Let's see that. Let's see that. Streamlabs. Yeah. We should be all right. All right. Let's get them in one by one. This and see see if it works. Okay. Oh, God damn. Okay, here we go. First, up to the plate. Mr. Knox Hill, man, how you doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, man, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. I'm, Is it... I'm living the dream. Yeah, you're a little bit distorted. I don't know if that's your mic or not, but it's all good. It's all good. It's not terrible. Yeah, I am I am on vacation right now, but I had to jump in after I saw the face off with uh with Wolf and Joe because that's just that's big dick energy right there. Yeah, I know shit's getting hectic, mate. It's World War Three, yeah. man. I, f I thought we saw the end of the carnage after your and mine, mate. But it's it's just it's just getting worse out there. I, I will never look at mushy peas the same way again. Nah, I don't blame you, mate. Right, let's go. Okay, let's go. Next up to the, next up to the plate, we've got. Uh, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Yeah. Are you can see me? Yes, brother. Let's go. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? You, can you see everything all right? You are a pretty man. Man, thank 
Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. How, wait, hey, everybody. I appreciate you. Everyone from, uh, are we getting any echo? Or are we good for this This too, yeah? Everyone's everyone's happy, man. Everyone's happy. Yeah, yeah, right, I'm cool. good. I'm good, yeah. All right, let's get the third up to the plate. Hang on, here we go. Collab cam. Look at this chat. Yeah, goddamn. We're doing well so far. What's going I can't on here, I'm on a phone. Here we go. My boy. You're in, man. What's going on? Fish tank. Yo, fish tank. can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear yep, you good. Hear you. Loud and clear, man. Hey, man, I could solve all your problems if I was there. I, I know exactly <laughs> what's going on with your audio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you can. This is my first time, mate. I am a Streamlabs virgin to collab camming. So, uh, Literally me, bro. It, it's, Literally me. It, it's my first time, too. Yeah, <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Wow, it's all of our first time and it's an orgy. We've jumped into the deep end. Right, here we go. Hang on, here we... Just head, yeah. Okay, we've got, right we've got three people in so far. We're still waiting. Uh, who are we waiting on? We're waiting on Black Pegasus. Um, and um, Cliff. Oh, and we're waiting on Cliff as well. They're not, they're not in the links yet, but... Boys, it's, it's, a, it's wicked to catch up with you all in one place. How are you, both do how are you all doing? I'm doing good, bro. I literally been right here waiting bro the entire time <laughs> i was like i'm on with ran yeah i was and Knox. like okay like you know what i'm saying like okay let me go ahead i mean it's my brother you know what i'm saying Knox, my brother but still it's like i like what, talking to people do, do you know do you know what's funny yeah i feel like i know all of you i was saying this to Knox actually when i met because i've watched your like reaction video so many times i was like it's, it's not it's not even like for me it like it feels like we've been homies and we've gone out and we've like hung out yeah. a little bit already because i'm like i've watched you guys speaking on youtube so much so it's, it's a bit of a weird one for me that this is the actual like first time we're talking face to face because i mean we've sent like voice notes and stuff to each other every now and then and chatting yeah. a bit on instagram and stuff but it's still weird because i actually i feel like i know you it's strange yeah yeah man it's it's, it's dope yeah man how wholesome what how on. let me see if i okay we've got mr black Pegasus in the house Let's Beep go. Beep. Yo, yo. Beep. Beep. What up, what up? Yes, yes. No cat. Here we go. Oh, Hell man, this yeah. is cool, man. It's, it's all working. <laughs> this is dope. This, 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 this orgy just keeps growing. It's just going to expand more, bro. It's, it's a little bit of a sausage fest. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Let's uh, go. Might as well be quality, welcome right? Welcome to the meat market. Yeah, man. How oh. you guys doing? T <laughs> tell me, how's your how's your past couple of weeks been? I know that you're over in England, right, Knox? Yeah, I'm down in uh in Cornwall right now, and it is love man, it. It's beautiful down here. I mean, the the ocean is like the Caribbean. BP was just talking to me earlier. He's like, I can't believe that's England. Yeah, England. That, I was actually really mind blown because like I've traveled a bunch of well, whatever, right? I've traveled here and there. I didn't even know it looked like that at all. I thought you, it was like. I thought it was Greece, honestly. From the angle, yeah, man, like clear turquoise waters. Yeah, I've nope. never seen no shit like that ever. So it was like that's <laughs> dope to me. Like, you know what? I had the I went to Cornwall ages ago. One of my one of my first bands were called Trick the Fox, and this guy Charlie, I was best mates with, and went over. He's a big surfer. They're all big into surfing over in Cornwall. So he took me yeah. out surfing one day, and I was like, oh shit, I wanna, I wanna make, it, I don't wanna look like an idiot. I did a little bit of skateboarding, so I had a little bit of experience standing on the board. Anyway, so I go out. I'm like, I'm on this board and I like, you, you kind of like swim out on the board and like, I, we're waiting for a wave and I'm like next to this really experienced surfer and in my head I'm like, Ren, fucking play it cool, play it cool. So I kind of like casually look, give him like the head nod and in that second my board <laughs> just fucking topples. My legs are attached to it and I'm just like face plant into the water, like the worst, the worst entrance into the surfing community possible. See, I oh, admire man. you hey, Ren, I, I, bro. I told you this before, Ren, but what I thought was dope was I was just in like this random ass town and I'm walking down High Street. Yeah. And all of a sudden I hear, murderer. And like this girl is just jamming out, knows all of your lyrics. Sick. Sick. I'm a, I, lo I love moments like that, man. I told this story last week yeah. on the stream. I don't know if you caught it, but it was so funny. Like, I was at this uh, swimming pool. Um, when I when I went on my little break thing and um, somebody came up to me and they were like, oh, you really look like this famous person. And I was like, oh, here we go. They're going to say that I look like Killian Murphy from Peaky Blinders because I get it all the fucking time. I was like, here we go. <laughs> and they were like, and they were like, yeah, you you really look like uh, that singer, Ren. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like uh, I was, I've never heard of him, mate. I've never heard of him. Who? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, we've got Cliff in the house. Here we go. Here we go. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yes, I man. couldn't figure anything out, man. No, it mate. Me, me too, man. It took me a while. We got the we got a full house, boys. Hey, oh, yeah, hey, can oh, I yeah. can I say something real quickly to Cliff? Yeah. What's up? What's up, Boo Boo? <laughs> yes. I'm, a little, I'm a little upset. Like I'm sending you beach photos and stuff, and all I get is like a laughing face. Like that's it. That's the best you got. Like I saw clips today, and I thought about you, and I sent you that picture. Hey, I, get. I went and got a haircut for you today. All right, that's what I was doing. I couldn't. Oh, I couldn't take that. I have literally okay. in support okay. of this, bro. All right, that 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 makes it up to me. That makes it up to me. That's fine. <laughs> Man's even got the fresh trim for him. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Oh, well, boys, thank you all for joining me, man. This is, it's, it's a bit of a mad one having everybody in at once. I feel like... Hey, I, I appreciate bro. it, bro. Thank you. I haven't set this up properly, but I feel like I, I should have done it so like everybody reacts to something at the same time. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> Just reactors reacting to reactors like simultaneously. Yeah, but not... Inception. Not, Inception. It's, it's, it's honestly so cool that you join me, boys, because I, yeah, like I, I've got a, love, a lot of love for all of you for what you've helped to do to like promote my work. And I hope that I can repay that favor in whatever way by getting people to listen to me over to your channels and stuff like that. But um, like, like I was saying earlier, man, I don't know if you, if you caught it, Cliff, but like each one of you, I've watched your video so many times that I just feel like I fucking know you all and I've known you all for a while. So it's nice to actually be able to like sit down and chill and chat with you we need to do this in real life so at some point man just link up and have a bit of a party or something that'd be cool that'd be so fun bro i'm yeah, down man when i saw that you were in la i was like dude i'm right down the road like i, I would have came and kicked it yeah my oh well i mean i'm in la a lot more um in the upcoming times because I'm, I'm working with somebody over there now so um yeah I'll, I'll definitely next time i'm in la we should try and like link up it'd be cool hell yeah Dude, I need to get used to getting on a plane, bro. Like touching yeah. one, that or water and shit, dude. Yeah. I'm like, I yeah. don't really like, you know. What I'm no, saying, no, Dom, Dom, we are going surfing. That is that is on my bucket list now. I'm taking your. Oh, surf? <laughs> oh, okay. So we ain't even going to step our toe. No, okay, no, we, we going, we going all in. Oh, okay, okay. We're we're gonna have to drug this dude. Please do that. That will work just fine for me, bro. <laughs> Man, that'll be fun. Yeah, that would be epic to to have a a, a cool ass get together, like little. I mean, all of, like me, Cliff. Oh, and shout out to Anthony Ray, man. He's with his yeah. kids tonight, so uh, he couldn't yeah, be so, here. Yeah. But I, I appreciate that. You know, Iron he puts Man. His family first. But um, yo, yeah, man, that would be epic to get together and just you know have a whole vibe and chill in person. You know yeah, how the in person energy is just different. A hundred percent, man. No, I think it'll be. I think it'll be a lot of fun, man. And as, yeah, I just don't know. I think I think it'd be really cool, man. Um, yeah. But anyway, what what have, what have you guys been up to as well? Man, Wait, I've not been, you. I've been going through uh, like some health issues myself. So honestly, like your music has been, you know, helping me a lot. I, I think if um, I wouldn't have came across your tracks early on in the year, the stuff that I'm going through now, I don't think I'd be able to handle it as well because I'm like, all right, if Ren is going through what he's doing and still making top quality content and putting himself out there every day. Like I can keep doing what I'm doing. So uh, thanks for the inspiration on that. And then also oh, man. Knox, man, I, I just wanted to say shout out. Uh, I, I love your reactions. I'm not, I'm not like a technical breakdown person as far as lyrics. So I always tell my subscribers, hey, go watch Knox if you want that. I'm here for wow. just the music and the overall production. So, but I watch all you guys. I watch Cliff, I watch Singer, I watch Black Pegasus. I watch all you guys. You guys Appreciate are awesome. you, brother. Appreciate you. That's, that, you, that's incredible, man. And that's, that's the beautiful thing about the internet now, isn't it? Is that we can just connect no matter where we are. Like even when Ren was talking about how seamless it is, like feeling like I've known him and he's known me. Like when we met up, like it just felt natural you know what i mean so i know once we all get together and do it it'll be exactly the same yes it's just a lot of positivity man i mm. love it mm. no it's cool man it's and it's really cool to see because the, the funny thing for me was like before high ran like i'd seen a couple of things but i didn't really really I, I wasn't really like tapped into this community of reactors i wasn't even like really hugely aware that it was like such a big thing and then and then it, and then obviously i started seeing these things and it was it was really in the early days it was really crazy for me so i was like oh there's a few videos reacting to high ran that's crazy that's really cool and, I, and i'd watch them and it would be really cool for me because for me like any of you guys like you record songs because i know a few of you do like record if not all of you, wait, you all make music. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking cool. Yeah. I just realized, I just realized that. But yeah, like, like, um, like, 
during that process, you can kind of kill a track for yourself, right? Because you're recording it, you're mixing it, you've like listened to it a million times before it goes out. So like seeing people react to it for the first time almost helps you step outside and watch it like from an outside perspective. Mm. So, and then, and then it just started getting fucking crazy. It would like, towards like February, March, it'd be like refresh a page and it'd be like 40 new reactions come up. And I'm like, fuck, this is, it's, 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 it's honestly crazy, but it's, it's been such an amazing integral part because I'm obviously an independent artist. Um, it's been such an amazing part to help promote my work. So like I am, it's why I wanted to do more shit like this because I, I am like immensely grateful for it. Very, very grateful. It's really cool. Uh, we, we appreciate like, you, man. Go on, go on, Nick. Oh, no, nah, I was going to say like, it's crazy too because I learn a lot from everybody. Like, because me, I've never set the foot in a recording studio. You know, I grew up just singing, you know what I'm saying? In the church when I was younger, then kind of grew out of the church. And then watching battle rap my entire life, all the way up until now, is how I gained my knowledge of everything. But I'm a bit of a square. Like, if I'm keeping it wide, it like, they be like, damn, you ain't never did. The hell no, I ain't never did this. Now I don't step my toes in water. I don't skydive. Or nothing. I don't know. Nah. <laughs> I would love to. But like, I got health problems, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> anxiety no, issues. Yeah, yeah. No, fine, well, get man. on the plane like you were talking about earlier. Come out to Northern California, man, and we'll do a track, bro. My man, you see, everybody, everybody said the same thing. Like, <laughs> there you go. Now, shout, you know out, shout out to Docs for putting me on uh, the, the diss track. Oh, that was <laughs> my hilarious. First, my first feature on something. I'm like, oh, let's go. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> my first feature. <laughs> that situation was chaos, Reverend man. History. That was funny. That was a funny, yeah. funny. No, I think, Red, I think, I think what's really dope about what you're doing is like, you're, you're kind of breaking the mold in terms of embracing the reaction community. And, you know, we really appreciate it, but I think it kind of sets a tone because like other artists are now seeing this. Yeah. And I'm getting well, artists reaching out to me. Do you know? Like they're, they're seeing like this sort of synergy that happens when you embrace the reaction community. And like, we just rise each other and well, build each other up. Because what, what it is, yeah, and I think a lot of it comes from the labels because I think a lot of artists like to see it, right? But maybe some of it comes from artists as well. But I think the, the problem is, yeah, it's like a short-sighted greed thing. So people be like, they're using my song. I can monetize that. So I want to make as much money in the short term as I can. And it's like, they're shooting themselves in the foot because it's like, say you have a bunch of people reacting to your content. And so many people are going to come in and see the original anyway. So it's like this short, I feel like that analogy can be used for big corporations outside of music. Like this kind of like short-sighted get as, make as much money in the short term destroys potential for future because it's, it's just this like me, 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 money, 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 my, now, now, now sort of mindset that like stepping away from it. It's like, actually, no, there's a way that everybody can win in this situation. Not just like if I'm going to be like, oh, you're fucking reacting to my song. I'm taking all your money from that. I'm taking all the money from this and being like, like it, it's so it's so short sighted because everybody can earn in a way that it's beneficial for everybody because then everyone, I don't know, it's just, yeah, I, I, I just kind of, I, I saw that as a little bit of a weird one. That the, even though people are giving out like copyright violations and getting channels shut down and stuff, for me, it's like. I, it's, I, have, I, have, I, I have something to add to that. Um, you know, it's crazy. I got an echo going on, but there's a lot of artists that don't even know what's happening. It's usually the labels of distribution companies that are trying to scramble to grab that little bit of money. Mm. Um, so I think that's where the disconnect is. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So like for me, it's like, I, even if they allow me to use the video and I don't get paid, I'm cool with that because I'm just bringing people to my channel. But it's like when they hit the block button, I'm like, okay, I, I don't understand mm. that. I, I feel like it's just free promotion. Yeah, no, well, it, yeah. It, 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 it definitely is. That's the thing. Well, it is. We're like, we're like the modern day DJs. Yeah, no, that's, that's the thing. The, and, and like the radio is dying, man. And it's like, I feel like, I feel like it's more visceral than, than a DJ or the radio though, because people are coming in, they're watching somebody. I don't know what it is, but humans like to see another human, like have a fucking emotional experience to something, which is why I think, I guess. They want to I mean, be together. We're social yeah. creatures. You yeah, know? Man. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm. The, the, fir the first time I ever heard of this concept was Tech Nine and Immortal Technique. There was a moment in time where everyone was stealing music off of LimeWire, which I'm on the middle ground there, right? Because this they, they, it's legitimately stealing, you know, in the sense of people weren't going and buying the albums when they couldn't afford it. But I remember Immortal Technique at his concert saying, 
download my shit, spread my shit. And, and Tech9 doing the, F, the FTI, F the industry. And the concept was download it for free, then come to the show. And in that moment, yeah. they had the biggest concerts in America, for they real. had the biggest touring. And it, what happened was people would buy the albums at the concerts because yeah. they had that connection through the music. So ever since that moment in time, I was able to see it like that. And when I started getting in the reaction space, I was already kind of like, kind of feeling, oh, this is the wave. It's similar concept, just different because you get to see these people's emotions and reaction in real time in video format. And I always say, that's why I bring on guests. Cause it's like, I'm putting in the ox cord, yo, check out my homie in the car, you know? Yeah. And so you're getting this experience, how you used to let your homies listen to the music in the car. So, can, can yeah. I say, can I say something quickly as well? I, I pulled up this, like my, just particularly. So I had this, um, this, uh, thing that, um, Ethan, who you're working with now, Knox, Ethan sent me this thing of like reactors who, cause, cause they've got, they can keep track of like how many videos somebody has made on you. Black Pegasus, you've made more videos on me than I've released videos on my channel, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking Yo, love it, great. mate. I fucking, I fucking love it. Bro, BP is a master of content. No, I love, I love it, man. And but I, I love, I, and I'm also really appreciative oh. because I can see genuinely, like, when you bring a new person in to come and react to one of my tunes, like. I can see the excitement in your face. I can see that it's not coming from a place of, oh, this will get views. It's coming from a place of you genuinely like being excited to see that experience. Like that comes across, man. And yeah, I just want to say thank you, man, because it's, it, I know that you're not doing it for me, but like, yeah, the, what it's, it's really cool. It's really, really cool. But like, I madly well, appreciate and it. it. It's, it's, a, it's a middle ground because it's like, I enjoy it, but also like, I know it's when you say you're not doing it for me, but there's something, bro, I always say this, but there was something about you giving the olive branch when we weren't over 100K that meant so much because I just have some, I'm not going to name names, but there was someone very, very special to my heart I was supposed to get on the pod and it was on some like stand, like they left me in the cold and they just said no, I'm just sitting in there like supposed to pull up, you're waiting there for hours. So then literally like a, two weeks later, you're like, I'm going to get on Black Peaks. Thing. And so like it connected with me in a different way. There's just so many layers to all this. Also, mm. I always tell people during the pandemic, I always call it the pandemic. Sorry, you guys. Uh, but um, I got radicalized, man. And like building with people like you and Harry Mack and this energy has brought me back to the middle where I'm just not as extreme in my thinking. And I'm like, yo, man, I want to hear these people out and build. And there's just something happening in real time. So like when I do the reactions, it's also really fun. Cause I'm always like, what is this, what's this M ever going to say? You know what I'm saying? So there's yeah. just a lot balled into that, but I do appreciate you, man. And, and yeah. it's really cool. And I, you know, you know, I'm just glad that it's also helping build you up. Cause it's just like, it's like a quadruple win. You know what I mean? Yeah. And to chime in real quick on um, what you said, Rand, is I got drawn to you first because of your voice. Like, this before I even knew you was, like, rapping. I said, who the hell is this dude? You know what I'm saying? Like, because you was, like, you and um, Chinchilla? Mm. I was, like, what, what, the, what the fuck is happening with them? Why are they not, like, on big, you know, stages and stuff like this? this is, his voice is ridiculous. You know, and then I started diving deeper into your music, man. And I didn't realize your lyrical ability and stuff. And I just want to, like, say, like, and keeping it 100% real, like, if it wasn't for you, I probably wouldn't be making what I'm making. You know what I'm saying? Like, it would be a complete struggle for me. So, like, so just so you know, because of you giving us that ability to monetize our videos, mm. like... You have helped me tremendously too. Mm, that's, that's so like, cool. Well, it's it's, it, it's amazing because like it's literally taking nothing away from me. That's the whole thing. Like people are still what that's that that's what's so cool about it. It's like be that's why I'm like yeah I could get more if I monetize people. But then I feel like people less people would want to fucking jump on reactions anyway. But like exactly. So so I'm like 
for, for yeah. me, it's like it's, it's just there's no lose to it at all by being like, yeah, fucking make us like monetize it, do whatever, like whatever, like yeah, it's it's for me, it's just like a bit of a no brainer, man. But yeah, I'm really ha- I'm really happy to hear that it's like it's helping putting money in your pocket. It helps good, that man. you are great too. Because yeah, if you wasn't, that. then I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> yeah, the first, the first time I heard music. you hit the three notes and slide up, the, the, <laughs> when, when, you, when you go, oh. when you do those things, I was like, all right, I'm stopping what I'm doing. I'm going to react. That was my introduction. Yeah, to you. I'm hearing him doing runs, and I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, What's that called? That's it a tri- was, uh, the triad. I, I the think devil's, the thing it does too the is devil's triad. That one. I didn't know what it was called until Mike Palmazano said what it was. <laughs> but yeah, man. But no, it's it's cool. Um, and what Black Pegasus is what you said as well. It's it's funny, man, because of that like heading towards the middle. I've always felt like my whole life I've been a bit on that sort of like rage against the machine sort of vibe, like tear down the system. And and then I think the more time that has progressed, the more that I realize like the most revolutionary act is actually trying to bring people towards the center and trying to bring people to find middle grounds because mm-hmm. because the world is so hyper polarized anymore. It doesn't need people militantly try, trying to smash and break down walls because people are doing that of their own accord right now on the left and the right for very different reasons. So like that sort of like middle place, I think is the most revolutionary place to be right now, actually, where we're actually trying to find common threads of humanity, where we're trying to like, we're regardless Regardless if you're like hard on the right, I'm hard on the left or the opposite way around, we're still able to sit here and respect each other and have a conversation, man. I think that's like, the, that, it's one of the most important things I think for me about the position that I've, I've, I've come to is trying to create more conversations or, try, or trying to release more stuff that creates that place where we can kind of understand and empathize with each other a little bit more. Right. It's interesting too, because I grew up super like, left tear down the system like immortal techniques my personal homie like i toured mm. with him like that's just my whole mindset then fast forward to 2020 i i just i went curved to the right you know because I, I didn't really have anywhere else to go with certain things that happened in my personal life and it, it really just 2020 just changed everything for me in the sense mm. um because i'm really really a laid-back person I always have been and um it's good I'm very happy in this moment in time because I, I just, the stress and the different things that bubbled up, and I'm sure this is for everyone, Yeah. you know, but, um, you know, being in this moment now, I'm, you know, I feel that because it's like, what is more powerful than unifying people? And I do believe it's as simple. I think all humans really want peace, prosperity, and freedom, but there's different ways to that destination. Yeah, 100%. So um, it, it's, it's an interesting conversation when you know if you take the left hand turn they still want to get to that same place and if you take the right hand turn it's still the destination is the same so having a a place to have this conversation is is very important and that's the problem with social media because they're blocking people's voices and that's what happened to me and that's what made me so radical because I was getting taken off the internet for wanting to have conversations yeah. and that's a big problem in today's society because now yeah. everyone sees it. You might not be thinking what BP thinks, but if you think one little thing that goes against certain narratives, then you're, you're, you know, ostracized from. Well, the, yeah, the, there's, a, there's, a, yeah. there's a lot of cognitive dissonance. It was, it was literally, I said this earlier in the stream, like I played a Tom Jones track on my stream last week. And then I had somebody leave me a comment being like, you're a misogynist. <laughs> I just played Tom Jones, like a, like a, a, like a Welsh fucking singer. And, and like I had this comment just being like, I can't believe you spoke about Tom Jones and Sid Vicious in a stream. Like it's, it's, it's crazy how much, how little you think of women. And I was like, Fucking hell, I'm like, I'm, I grew up in a family with just my mum and my sister for most of my life after my dad left. Like, fucking, I've got so much respect for, like, strong women in the world. And, like, I play Tom Jones and mm-hmm. someone's like... So, yeah, I, I feel like people are so quick to cancel these days. And I feel like it's a bit of a problem. Mm-hmm. because, and, But I, I'm trying to understand... In this place of, like, meeting, meeting in the middle, it's like, okay... Why has somebody gotten like that? And I, I do think, like, the media is, is largely to blame and how, like, people just get fuel fed to this fire so much. And even in social media as well, not just the media, but like it's it's become very trendy to be part of a movement that tries to shut something down that is against the status quo. But sometimes I think we've lent into that a little bit too much. So there's no conversations to be had. People are just like very overreactive and like 
throwing the world around like you're this you're that you're this when actually we're just a, i think every human being just wants to feel just content in their surroundings sometimes we we get stray off the beaten path a little bit but i think all of us really just want to feel like content feel happy feel like the environment that we're in with our group of friends and everyone is, is good and also i think it, it's partly to do with the fact that the economy is going to shit pretty much all over the world so people are a little bit more strapped for cash and then that bubbles out projected onto other people yeah. too so like i think it's multifaceted but um i'm hoping that like just shit like this we can help carve out more positive spaces in the world because i think it really needs it man yeah, well, we no, talked sure. about this before. I think like the socialization of social media, you know, because when you're more upset, when you're angry, when you're arguing, you're more engaged and you're spending more time online versus mm. when you're content and you're happy, you're probably going to get off your phone at some point. You're going yeah. to go out to the world and, you know, spend time with your loved ones and do things. But if you're sat here arguing and you want to get the last word in, they know that and they know that that engagement drives it. Yeah. Yeah. Did, my... did anybody else get called a racist for reacting to Jason Aldean? I get mur I get death threats, dude. <laughs> I had all kinds of that going on. I'm like, dude, I'm just listening to a song and and hearing it out. Yeah, mate, I got, <laughs> I got so, sorry to John. I, I got um yeah. I got the same thing for sharing a Webby track the other day. Somebody was like, oh, I, this is disgusting. I've cancelled my order of your album. I'm like, fucking hell, is it like it's so extreme? Like it's so extreme. Because you, you don't necessarily have to believe with 100% of somebody's views to think that what they're doing artistically is dope either. So it's like, I don't know, it's just, it's just quite, yeah. Yeah, it, it's like people can't separate the art from the person nowadays. Like, mm. it's so much about the individual and they apply that viewpoint to their art and what they're making. And that's not always the yeah. case with art, is it? Mm. Yeah, and like to touch on what Black Pegasus was saying earlier, like the reason I do this is because I miss... When I was in high school, me and my friends, we would all save up our money and go buy an album, and then we'd sit in the car and listen to it together. And that, that's yeah. why I do so much live streams. I live stream Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday and listen to music with people because it gives me that same feeling because everybody just listens to music now with headphones on. And so like, that's, that's one of the main reasons why I even do what I'm doing because I just love to listen to music with people and get other people's attention. Uh, uh, other people's opinion in live time mm. yeah yeah i do the same exact thing it's beautiful yeah yeah, yeah no nah. yeah i get i got the i got the little uh the racist uh hate speech in the mail p.o box which was oh you got the time. snail mail yeah i got yeah i got, got that, that anthrax that, i don't well, know that's what that's it was bro but uh so how that happened was and to be fair that's the first time that's ever happened I, you know, I usually it's more positive than negative, but that was the first time I actually received a complete racist because you, y'all kind of know how I am. I play a lot when I hear somebody do a run. I'd be like, that was stupid. <laughs> so what happened is they took that literally, like, you're calling my <laughs> husband <laughs> stupid. And I was like, so I got the hate, I got the hate letter in the mail, and they started out with, dear that singer reactions n word. I said, oh, we dive right into oh. racism. Okay, we ain't even giving it no space. And then they started telling me about uh, how I don't know what I'm talking about. I say he, Chris, this is about Chris Cornell. And mm. I say how he's one of the greatest singers ever, mm. blah, blah, blah. But they just taking kind of my slang. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God, man, this is ridiculous. He need to be in jail for this. I'm not talking literally. Like, you know what I'm saying? So they, they was just going off, and apparently this person married Chris Cornell in, like, two years ago, and he's been dead for, like, 15 years or something like that. So uh, they found out that Yeah, crazy. unhinged, man, unhinged. Yeah, I got to interject, man. I think I think there's more mentally ill people than we realize that are using YouTube as escapism mm -hmm. um, that, you know, are watching us, and we have to be more careful even when interacting with others. A hundred percent. Yeah, I think I, I think you project because you think that it's a person that's like you on the other side that you're mm -hmm. responding to or engaging with, and sometimes we, we don't appreciate what is actually on the other side of the screen. Yeah, yeah like, what, what, what I try and do as well through, is... Even what their age is or... Because what I try and do as well with, with with my music, because of the subject matter, it's obviously going to it's, it's going to attract people who have 
gone through a lot of shit in their life and and so that's like i try and have a bit more empathy towards things that are very very extreme like because because of the nature of what i'm writing about obviously there are people that are gonna within the people who it speaks to there's going to be i think probably more people who have come from it from a slightly less off center place in their mental which is fine because mate i spent ages of my life in psychosis i thought that i was part of an experiment i thought i was part of some like demonic intervention for a while like i know what it's like to be in that place so i try not to judge too harshly but so yeah it's, it's, it's kind of like about taking it i think the more you get it as well and the more you get these really extreme comments the more you can kind of separate yourself from them. But at the start, it's like you take it on board and you're like, oh, that makes me feel like shit. But then Next. the more it happens, it's just like, yeah, you don't really, yeah. you know, you don't really. Every, with it. every mean yeah. comment that I get, I just send them the hug emoji with the heart. And, yeah. and then that ends. Yes, that. I love that. <laughs> I think uh, that's what connects us more than anything, too, is that we all have dealt with some mental health issues. Yeah. You know, so. That brings us together along with being like at the end of my videos, I always offer myself up to everybody. I spend more time talking to people offline than I do actually making content. Oh, man. But I think that's what makes us all click, too, is that we've all had these struggles growing up. Mm. Everyone's different, obviously, but maybe that's why people are drawn to us as well and lash out. And it's like a double-edged sword. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, think, sure. I think that's why we all connect is because what happens on the screen, but we all appreciate that, you know, there's a real life going out there. Life is shit. Life is hard enough as it is. Why give people a hard time online? Because we're all, you don't know what the other person's going through. You know, I'd, I'd much rather support people and build than tear down and destroy. Facts. Yeah, yeah man. But yeah, no, that's why I love this man, and, and and it's turned into like a, a proper good like a good space, I think, and I think people see that, and and it, it almost feels like for me, it's the first time because I had like things like Discord before, but really now like YouTube was never really like a community space for my music before. It was just like okay, it's a place where I can share my music videos and talk. And really, in the past six months, and the the reaction community is really largely to do with this because it then it all stays within its own little world and and then and then i get like people like joe and wolf like side branching off and doing their own crazy shit as well and it all feels side like quest. It, it all feels like part of the same sort of part of this same sort of world and it's like it's really cool because my music's not really important in that factor no, nothing really what's important is all the people that are kind of meeting and finding some com commonality and then like meeting each other and you'll see you'll see a lot of the same names like pop up in comments in all of your videos probably who who then like go and check out other reactions and stuff so it's really it's really nice to see like see that vibe and see that sort of like that community spirit there um because these are all probably people from like aging from the ranges of like five years old to 85 years old like any fucking ethnicity any gender any whatever and, and it's really cool to see like and the, uh, people who might in the real world find things to like argue with each other about certain things can just kind of like i don't know chill enjoy something which and is nice speaking of demographics dude i would love to just look at your analytics and see who is watching your video because i see like old so people try and pull like, it up. i don't like hip-hop but i love ren and i'm like yeah, it's this mad. is crazy it's mad so I, wait I'll, I'll try and pull it up i haven't looked at it in a while i'll see i'll see if i can it's find probably it all over the place man like, i think i have a pretty yeah. straightforward demographic but i imagine yours is is pretty wild let's find out let's find out i don't mind. ren uh, just appe appeals to i think a lot of people because he do a whole diff a bunch of different kind of music yeah yeah it could be reggae one second it could be hip-hop right. it could be like yeah. rock yeah it's like oh damn what the fuck and it's not do? even just the music either I, I i've been telling people for the last couple months like I, i'm a huge music lover i'm in a band myself i've played with a lot of big bands um okay. but ren has easily become my favorite artist and and when i say artist i'm i'm saying musician i'm saying singer i'm saying songwriter i'm saying even on the camera, dude, you're a damn actor. You, you, you've just got the whole oh, yeah, umbrella of artists underneath you, not just one thing. And that's what makes you my, my ultimate favorite artist. Oh, I, he, I, I called him I a male uh, Lauren Hill. Oh, I love Lauren. <laughs> yeah, hey, and, Lauren Hill and, is and, Lauren Hill is so oh, good, man. She's, she's one of my big, big, big yeah. inspirations, man. Right, oh, yeah, right. Yeah, Fish is giving you all these compliments, and you didn't even see him when you were out in LA. Come on now. <laughs> Mate, I was, I, I didn't, I didn't have time to fucking, even though it was a holiday, I didn't have time to breathe when I was in LA. Like I, basically we went, I got over there and we went to, 
We might not matter with like Apple Spot, basically because they're not really supporting what I'm doing at the moment, which is which was quite crazy to me because it was so like on YouTube I was getting the same numbers as like major artists, sometimes more. Really? I was always in the trending pages, so I was like, oh, it's weird that like these big DSPs aren't supporting what I'm doing. So it, it was just an awareness thing, really. It wasn't it wasn't that they were like by choice being like, oh, we're not. It, it's just that when you're in a major label, they'll have those meetings, they'll have those conversations really early on, so the support is there from the start. So I went into them, um, and, and basically it was really cool because the last single that we just released ended up getting on the New Music Fridays, ended up getting on like these big playlists, which helps drive a lot oh, yeah. more attention to them through like Spotify, Apple, Amazon, and stuff like that. So it was really uh, basically we had a few. We had a meeting at YouTube, had a meeting at Amazon, we had a meeting at Apple, we had a meeting at Spotify, and then so it was very like. And then we filmed Murderer, so it was very like. Even though it was a holiday, it was fucking work nonstop. But um, yeah, it was it was it was worthwhile because we're we're starting to see the benefit of that now, and it's it's really cool, and and it's cool for like I guess it's cool for other and in, independent artists that are watching that are following what I'm doing, being like, oh shit, like if I genuinely do want to do this. I'm not. I don't. I'm not like an anti-label, which a lot of people think that I'm just like this very anti. I think the labels can work for people in certain circumstances, or if if someone isn't self-made and doesn't do their own beats, doesn't do their own songwriting, a label probably makes sense then as well because they can. They're really good at like putting you in the room with people. But for me, because it's all quite self-contained, I don't know. The independent route, just kind of for now at least, makes a lot of sense, man. So, um, it was good to be able to have those conversations because then it's like bringing people on board to hopefully get wider support from because they can really help if, if they if they pull their finger out and decide to help you yeah yeah they can, yeah, they they can, can really help right. yeah. it, it, it feels like with the movement you're creating to independence because you have moments where you are vocal about very specific things and sometimes depending on what type of situation you're in with a with a label or the corporations yeah it's very unique in this time because i've seen people get dropped from their labels or just having an opinion and mm -hmm. i i don't think you have any crazy like opinions but it's it's really cool to see you do it grassroots and your energy gives me very independent vibes anyway mm -hmm. so it's just it's super cool yeah, but yeah, I, I, I have got I have got a loud mouth though, so it's only a matter of time before I try I probably get cancelled for something. But um, <laughs> you won't let that happen. Man. You That's won't why let I that don't Call of Duty. Yeah, man. It's no, it's you it's, won't it's, get cancelled. It's, it's so funny. But no, yeah, I, too. Like the label lets you just you know you get to be so much more versatile than label artists. You know, well, you could, you could uh, dip your pool in, in this genre one day and then try something completely different another day, whereas the label will go no, this isn't what's trending. You know, this is the direction we think you should go as an artist or you should be. And you, you would get a lot more lean, a lot more pushback on that. Whereas you, you just get to really have the whole world open to you with it. Well, I'll, I'll be totally honest with you about something as well. So in January, after High Ren popped off, I had loads of major labels knocking on the door. For, I, I took a lot of Zoom meetings, had a lot of conversations. And, and this is where I would see the issue. Like there was one guy who was like, we love High Ren. Have you thought about putting it on a beat, making a hook for it, and then, you know, shortening it a bit. And I was like, fuck no. Like, no, it is what it is. Like, it it can't, like, it shouldn't be condensed. It shouldn't be radioized because otherwise it loses what it is. And, and I think I think that's where the problems might start arising if I was on a major label and it's like, by the way, I've got this fucking eight minute long thing that's only played on a violin and then has this weird, like, fucking epilogue at the end of it. And then they're, they're, you, you're, you're probably going to give this to them and they'll be like, what the fuck do I do with this? Do you know what I mean? So it's like... It's good having the freedom to put out what because I I can be more daring. I well I've only got myself to answer yeah, to in terms of what I choose to put out. So it's like I can put out the weirdest shit and nobody's there being like, actually, Ren, I don't think this is a good idea. I think this is a so so it's it's good. I mean, MG MG three would not happen on a label, Ren. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. I don't think it, I don't think it would. Like, so it's it's really cool having um having. Um, cause I'm, I'm working with like independent distributors. I'm working with the other songs right now, uh, who, who's, who's in London, but I'm not, um, yeah, I'm not signed to, I'm not signed to a major label. So that, that's just to help out with the kind of distribution side of things, which is, it's really handy, man. 